Let's talk about striking. In the previous lesson, we mentioned that action is always faster than reaction, meaning the guy that strikes first always has the advantage over the person that has to block. Especially if the person that wants to block needs to bring his hands from the bottom up. Because remember, if your hands are too low, you'll be too slow. So always keep those hands high. Also remember, you can conceal it. You're reading the pre-attack indicators. This guy is being aggressive towards you. Your instinct tells you trouble is heading your way. Get those hands high. Now, you don't have to go into your combative stance immediately. Rather pretend that you're talking with your hands or hold your hands in front of your face. As long as your hands are high, you're in a position to strike. So the first strike we're going to teach you is called the palm heel strike. The name comes from the fact that you're striking with the heel or the palm of your hand. So what you want to do is you want to put this hard part where the bone is onto the attacker's nose or the attacker's chin or even the chest where the ribcage joins. Always assume that your attacker is bigger, faster and stronger than you and that you will be physically weaker. With that mindset, you will always take the necessary steps to deliver maximum force. You will use all the little tips and tricks to create more power. So what are those tips and tricks? The first thing that you need to remember is your stance should be nice and wide so that you have proper balance. If your feet are next to each other, like we learned in the previous lesson, you're totally off balance. So keep those stances nice and wide. Your hands is going to be in the upright position, like my hands are now. So nice and tight from the front, hands high. So when I strike, the main secret formula of any strike is to use your hips and rotate your shoulder into the attack. So in other words, your hip and shoulder should work together to drive your striking hand into your attacker. So remember, any punch starts from the feet, it goes all the way through the knees, through the hips, through the shoulder, and then you deliver it. I want you to think of one of those little drums that you get, the one with the stick and the drum with the two pieces of string and the balls. So you, you, you roll them between your hands, and then the little drums goes like this, or the strings goes like this. That's how punching works. So there's that two balls on the string. So you can see my whole body is rotating the whole time while I'm striking. Now to use this secret formula for palm strikes, you're going to pretend that that strike is coming all the way through your leg, all the way through your hips, through your shoulder, and then you're going to push that palm forward. Can you see my arm is totally extended? And the reason why I want to extend it is so that I push through my attacker. So in my mind, I'm punching right through his head. That's another secret of striking hard. Don't look at the surface that you want to hit. So don't look at his nose or his chin and think that's where my palm needs to stop. Think, I'm going to strike the nose, but my hand is going to go straight through his head and it's going to end on the other side. That's how you deliver power. Also, when you strike, take a little step forward with your front foot while you're pushing with the back hip. So like this. That stepping forward gives you a little bit more extra power. Now from a different angle, look at my opposite hand, the hand that's not punching. In other words, the hand that's leading. So when I'm punching, this hand stays high, this one, and it stays next to my face. There's two reasons for that. First reason is it protects my face because this guy's probably not going to stand still. He's going to hit back. So this hand gives me a little bit of protection. Think Zulu or Koza warrior. They have their shield in one hand and the spear in the other hand. They block the attack and then they stab. This is the same thing from this position. Here's my shield. I'm going to block my, protect my face with my shield. And this is my spear. With this one, I'm going to stab. So this is the action. So look at all the elements put together now. I'm going to st uh, strike. The power is moving up my rear leg. I'm putting all my effort in there and I'm striking this target as hard as I can using the palm. Another benefit is of this strike is it's very hard to injure yourself. If you hit somebody with their fist, there's a very big chance that your fist is going to do this or even like this and you can injure yourself. With an open hand, there's very little things that can go wrong. Also, if you have long nails or even just normal nails, 
If you strike somebody on the chin, maybe you'll be lucky that your nails also make contact with the attacker's eye. That's an added benefit. Don't assume it will always happen. This is the main striking surface, but that's sometimes a little added benefit of the palm heel strike.